mission three of the Cybern operation. Let's go ahead and check and see what's on the other side of this loading screen here. Such a nice, shiny, well-animated loading screen. Greetings, Dr. Snyder. Greetings! It's about time you got here. We ran into some trouble on the way. At this moment, I'm less interested in your problems than my own. My facility is under siege and my defenses are proving inadequate. We get dinosaurs this mission? Provide assistance. <laughs> Cybranosaurus Rex to the rescue. Facility with my air forces. Indeed, this would also be an excellent test for my jump jet technology. All right, then. Let's get to it. So. I am able to protect this with my air units. That is probably what I should be doing. So this is the Quantum Research Laboratory. Research and we're ready. going to need to rescue it at the moment. So it's talking about me needing jump jets. I think probably jump jets would be the best thing. Let's do that. Get a base of operations set up right here. Oh, I do have some engineers. Lovely, lovely indeed. Let's go ahead and get you building those, and let's get you building those. That is probably too many. Ding, 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 ding. You know what, actually, let's do one. And let's build one, two, three. And then let's do a whole bunch more. And then you are going to build those two, and then do a whole bunch of P-Gens. And you are going to jump jet across the void. How, how much distance have we got here? Can I get it? Yep, there we go. Flying ACU to the rescue! Wee! You're not flying if you're not saying we. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Holy crap, there is a fat boy wreck over here. Why are there two different fat boy wrecks? That seems like an inordinate amount of mass to just have in a pile over here. Okay, then we need to get enough mass in our coffers. There we go to build another mass extractor because it appears that we also have a power shortage. I guess it's a good thing that I went for building power immediately. So now that we've got some air units, it appears that they are sending only anti air units. So awesome of them. So, how strong are these? Not very. I should be able to kill those without too much problem. And we'll take care of the tanks in just a momento. Thankfully, my renegades are fairly strong. These are Aeon attackers, in fact. So, we're going to bring them back into the fold here. Get away from all of those land units coming in. And it does not appear that there are terribly many um, strong land units. So, I'm thinking I can build, like, one defense right there. There's a wall around the facility, too. Awesome. All right, so we're going to build a point vents right behind my ACU. Use my ACU for a meat shield. And we're going to go for a little bit of structure tech because I think if I get shielding, I can probably build an impenetrable fire base right here, seeing as the, um, seeing as the Aeon do not have super effective options for defeating point vents. I might, though, need to reevaluate my life. Let's, uh, let's get those and then get uh, these little guys out Imagine here. Come on, little point defense, you can do it! Just need to be wary of those little things called anti-air. Okay. So now that we've got that set, let's build a land factory on that location with which we will reclaim the entire world if we're able. And let's go do a little bit of raiding. Um, holy crap, there are a lot. I'm going to keep my gunships over here. We're going to send you guys. Why do I have assist icons on those? Um, that's very strange, actually. Commander under attack. <laughs> Go get the anti-air first, and then come back and get all of the tanks and harvogs and everything else. You need to get behind the point defense, otherwise you're going to die. 
I need an ACU upgrade El Pronto to help me out with this. Come on. Whereas I can just like jump jet away. That would also be hilarious. Oh, you think you can kill me? Wee! Just go flying through the air away from all of my problems because I can fly. It is the best solution to any problem, right? Right, without a doubt. Okay, so these are mm, friendly? Friendly, Commander okay, that's attack. interesting. Um, so we're not gonna be able to get those. Can I actually, yes, I can capture them. I might do that. That might be fun, fun little exercise. So we got 218 mass incoming. Let's uh, let's get another point defense down, or two, or three, because it appears that we do, in fact, have a little bit of a problem with land units. Not the quickest, most efficient way to go about this, that's for sure. Um, you need to finish the P-Gen that you're on and stop. You need to finish that and stop, because I need to get all of my stuff taken care of before I die. That is how this is going at the moment. So, anti-air first. Alright, what do we got for tech on the commander? Um, okay, I might have to jump jet. Whee! I'm now an air unit and you can't hit me. Alright, I might have to rethink this strategy. How long is it going to take me to recharge? Not much time at all. Whee! Oh, crap. That means that the base is defenseless. Well then, that's not good. That's not good at all. So... Okay. Continuing in the tradition of the Cybern campaign. Let's restart this one now that I know what's actually going on. <laughs> uh, yep, you were right, Shadows. Failed again. Wee! You're going to be hearing a lot of wees this time, so you might as well get used to it. Greetings, Dr. Snyder. It's about time you got here. We ran into some trouble on the way. At this moment, I'm less totally interested cool. in your problems Totally than cool. Totally cool. It's all good. The facility is under siege and my defenses are proving inadequate. We will provide assistance. Okay, so again, they don't really send any missile launchers, so I believe I can move the battle away from her facility with my air forces. Indeed. This would also be an excellent test for my jump jet technology. Jump jets are seven, so I gotta wait just a minute to go after those. But in the meantime, I can most definitely go make use of all New research options are available. of my lovely, lovely little gunships. And uh, also the fighter bombers, because fighter bombers are important too, y'all. <clears throat> all right, we're gonna go right up to the edge. And hopefully, hopefully, we will, in fact, be able to grab a good bit of jump as soon as this is ready. I have to wait for that last research point to finish. And with this time, we're going to take all of our stuff with us because we're probably going to need it. Research facility has seen better days, but I think the gunships will finish those things off. We're going to go ahead and bring you in on the problem. Yeah, 41,000 health and dropping. Do not want too much damage going down on those. Let's get you and go back here. I would like to not die to all of the things. And jump jets. The jump jet technology is a good alternative to transports. Yes. Wait, what did I upgrade? Why can't I jump jet? Where did it go? It broke. How? Why? What is this madness? Move, attack, patrol, guard, assist, hunker, capture. Let me press J, see if it's just not a hotkey. What the crap? It's broken. I can't finish the mission without my jump jets. 
Supreme Commander, curse you till the end of time. Supreme Commander 2, I should say. I should definitely specify that. Um, we're just going to restart because that is quite literally a game-breaking bug. <laughs> Good lord, that's awful. Oh, it was one of the land units. Freaking A. Okay, I'm an idiot. Do it on ACU next time. That's right. Dr. Snyder. It's about time you all right, here. Subcom, you also you need a good way to skip all of this. At this moment, I'm yeah, numbnuts is appropriate. Than my own. Critical as as error as encountered. Defenses are proving inadequate. <laughs> we will provide assistance. Uh, I'm gonna get so much hate on this one. Yeah, I know, I know. Indeed. This would also be an all right, ACU jump, jet jump jets. We're good. Get out here. Do some damage. Engineers, let's get this build order back underway. You, let's grab some of this. And then some of this. And maybe a little bit of this. And we're good. So, how about them jump jets, huh? Don't they work awesomely well? Yeah, there's going to be a million and one comments calling me an utter and complete noob, and every single one of them is deserved. Just don't hate too hard, guys. Don't hate too hard. My transport has guns? That could be useful. All right, so I'm going to bump it up here, grab a little mass, because mass is going to be a little bit more difficult to come by, and I think I'm going to get... Um, let's actually get a factory online as well in the very first portion because if I can get a factory online I'll have a pretty decent chance of simply reclaiming my way out of pretty much any situation so we're gonna do that on repeat we go out here and going to patrol the crap out of all this reclaim and with that I'm gonna move forward and try to build some point defense before I get utterly overrun by the sheer quantity of units that are popping up from the other side of the map. Something else I'm going to try to do would be capture all of this stuff, because if I can capture all that stuff, it's gonna turn out pretty well for me. Let's uh, suck this up. Miter Bombers, mm, not particularly useful, I think, in this particular instance. See, we got 130, but I've got other building going on in the back. And I have to kind of reclaim my way out of this until the... Until the mass starts rolling in from those engineers in the back. There we go. We're sitting on 183 after the building progresses, so should be able to do this pretty well. Gunship's taking care of me on the front line until I get my stuff together. We should be good. Commander under attack. Let's drop all my units across here. Probably be useful. And without any further ado, a point defense would be good if I could actually get some uh, get some power. Let me just like queue it up and wait for it to build. Commander under attack. I think that's what I'm gonna do here. Because the ACU has pretty freaking high priority. So I'm just going to build a bunch of point defense right there. We're going to drop our units in front of us in order to keep ourselves safe. And we're going to go after these anti-air turrets while we have the chance. We're going to use the air to defend ourselves as long as we possibly can. And until we get our point defense up, that is about all we got. All right. Point defense is built. Point defense is defending us. We need to get a shield gen as quickly as possible, which is going to be a total of nine research points, which will take us a little bit to accumulate, but you know, at the rate we're progressing, things should fall into place. Let's go ahead and do this little zap over here. I think that'll be the last volley of air that we need because we're now pushing up on four point events, and I think that should be plenty. We're going to bring the gunships back, because there's currently eight anti-air over there. Less than ideal for sure. 
actually mowing through the reclaim. We're having trouble keeping up with power, actually, is is the prohibitive factor at the moment. Um, the power is building as quickly as it possibly can be. I'm going to finish that off. Grab a mass extractor. Maybe build a couple of P-Gens on this side, right? I don't know. It seems wise to keep all of my power rocking on in the back here where it can't actually be attacked. What mission do I get the Fabricators? That would be useful intel. I don't think there's any... Nope, there's still no missile launchers coming in. So that's very, very nice indeed. Just keep mowing down all the units as they're coming in with my point defense. No big dealio. No big deal. Let's uh, decrease build cost. Because that seems like a useful thing in my current situation. Decreases build cost of all structures. So... That'll cheapen all the things going back on, on back there at base. What I do need more of, though, are research centers, because we need tech in a big, big way. Let's build two there, and we're going to stop production on here, because I have way more engineers than I actually need. Come on, let's heal this up. We don't have our shields yet. So, we gotta wait. Got four coming up next. Good, good, good. We're gonna have such a huge mass surplus with this, it's not even funny. Alright, you're gonna go back over here, and we're going to pick up this little engineer over here. Um, actually, once you're done, you're going to go back to building P-Gens. You're going to finish the P-Gen you're on, and then hop into the transport, which is... Slow to the point of hilarious. Like, why is that moving so slowly? I would like you to get in there. Thank you very much. We're going to drop you over here and capture a couple of these handy dandy little units here. Oh, crap. Here comes the artillery. Uh, we need to get some loyalists on and maybe some land upgrades. All right, where are we at? Where are we at on those shields? Shields would have been useful a minute ago. Looks like we're going for ACU upgrades instead. Um, let's get some point defense lines up. I just don't need to die. That's all I need. Oh, yeah. I've got my air units in the back. I forgot about that. Should probably grab the Harvogs and then some tanks to take some of this pressure off of my ACU. I'm going to lose my air here probably, but if I can keep this wave off of me, I should be able to recover. I just need that shielding. Just need that shielding to come in. All right. Missile launcher... Where are the other missile launchers? There is only the one. Point event should be able to take care of the rest. Good, 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 indeed. Just gotta beat my way back to the front. All right, all of you come away from there. Commander under attack. Going to try to build. Uh, yeah, I need to keep on with the point defense. Holy crap. Alright, structures, shield, and... Shield! Please, shield! We need it. We need it yesterday. At least it's all anti-air that's in the back here. Like, that's not actually going to do any harm. Alright, we also need... The attack missiles, we're going to get all of the combat grade upgrades on the ACU, because I feel like that is going to be one of the more useful things. Let's capture all this crap over here. Good, good, good. We'll have the opportunity saved up to do some awesome overcharging once this is done. So that's going to be our rear line of defense right here. We're just going to leave that be, and we're going to start building up some more stuff. Gonna get two shield gens. 
We're gonna get a whole line of point defense. And we're gonna hope that we have enough combat upgrades to actually take this swarm of units. There is some point defense fire coming in from the back end, which is very, very helpful indeed. Indeedly. We're just gonna keep laying them in there, laying them in there. What are you doing? You need to be building. That's what we need here. I am definitely not going to end up building all of those point defense. Just so you know. Just so you know. Alright, come over here. We need to load up in that transport once it gets close enough. Why don't you come up and build that thing? So I can get a little more income. Oh, crud. It's an assault block. Dang, 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 dang. Please let me run. Please let me run. I need to get away from this as quickly as I possibly can because I do not have the health to hold up to this. Maybe, just maybe, I got enough point defense and enough shielding to actually kill the son of a gun. I would like you to target him with your missiles, if at all possible. Like, is that a thing that you can do? That would be useful. Are you targeting him with missiles? You are not targeting him with missiles, you're targeting the puny little things. Why for art thou doing this? Alright, we're just gonna try to pound it down anyway. It's regenning a little bit, but yes! Good deal, good deal. Did not even lose any of our shields. The Illuminates are falling back. Hallelujah. Thank you for the assistance. Why is the Illuminate attacking your facility? Oh, These that was all I had to do. Aren't Illuminate. They call themselves the Royal Guardians. They claim to be supporters or protectors of former Illuminate leader Princess Rianne Burke. Or other such nonsense. I hey, there's a familiar name. Politics. Why were they here? They were here for... Oh, this is unacceptable. They hacked into my system and stole my files on Shiva Prime, including my report on its launch sequence. Oh, crud. That is most troubling. We have to stop them before they can upload the data. I agree. Prepare your armies for an assault. All right, done. Well, not literally done, but I'm doing it. I'm doing it, okay? All right, two gantries. I'm gonna go that far anyway. Um, you guys. I'm going to build that. And then the rest of the time, we're going to spend reclaiming all of this I glorious mass in the front end. Any of the offline factories in the area. Yes, my child. You should capture them with an engineer or your ACU. I'm on it. I am already on it. Don't even worry about it. So we do have air units, um, which, ironically, we have to worry about. Oh, look, all of those loyalists in the back. I totally forgot about them. So what we're going to do is we're going to create an obscene amount of adapters to go with our huge amount of megaliths and basically just operate that way. And I might actually be able to get away without having to use any air. So... We're going to drop you off there and fly on home. And you, we are going to grab a jump distance upgrade for, along with the AOE damage. We're going to hop right... Oh, wow. Holy crap, that can jump far. Want to jump right over there? And then go in for a little capture in action. All right, Loyal, let's head up to the front. Take care of the last little bit that's left to take care of and now we're just going to be burning that mass okay so I could theoretically go and uh, start launching TAC missiles at these guys which might be a little bit useful but uh, maybe not maybe not we got a research station over there as well so that could help us out we're going to pick up the next couple of upgrades on our ACU and basically just accumulate forces while we're waiting for things to come to a head. 
Um, we have way more than enough power. Speaking of power, do I have the fabrication upgrade yet? I do not, in fact, have fabrication. That is very, very disappointing. Why you do this to me? Um, so let's, uh, let's head back here. Jump back across. Whee! It's flying time! And engineer, load up. Good freaking dealio. Can anti-air hit me? Anti-air can probably hit me while I'm airborne. That would make sense. Let's go reclaim that and then head back up to the front line. The other question I would have is, are anti-nukes available and do I think they're necessary? I think not. Oh, that adds a direct fire turret to the engineers themselves. That's awesome. I am totally all over that. And assault block, you stand no chance versus the might of my megaliths. You might as well not even try. All right, we're going to fly all the way around the edge here and drop. Oh, look, that's actually a gantry over there that I can build megaliths from and attack from the side. That's so nice. So wonderful. The map is being unusually helpful in this situation. That makes me think that something terrible is going to happen because it's usually not that nice to me. Oh look, a tech cache. Let's go, uh, let's go attack that with our puny little engineer gun. See how good that is. Alright, we're gonna kinda move all of our move orders up a bit. So many adapters. I think I've got enough to probably mount an assault, but we're gonna wait just a minute more for just a little, just a little bit more anti-air. Makes me a little nervous. And also for this, because if I can build a megalith over here and like punch these factories, just shank it in the kidney, I think that'll do a lot of good. That is a very puny little gun. That's like 100 DPS basically. And the numbers are a little inflated in subcom. What we're gonna do is we're gonna park our megaliths right over here on the edge so that they can hopefully reach out and touch these units with their handy dandy long range lasers. So the Megalus kind of like took the long range turret idea from the Monkey Lord but made it lasers instead of um, instead of the little dinky guns. And the big cannon is a cannon instead of being a laser. They just inverted it and added two sets of legs and then kind of sort of made it look like a megalith. It's a really weird setup, to be honest. All right, let's capture this son of a gun. Oh, there's a mass extractor over there as well. Nice. Very nice indeed. Okay, so my ACU is fully upgraded. Maximized in all its potential. Let's go ahead, um, hunker for the assault bot. Why is that useful? Um, we're going to go ahead and get the veterancy upgrades for it so that the... Oh, there's also self-destruct. Interesting. So everything is a fire beetle is what you're telling me. The entire faction. <laughs> oh, that's great. Okay. I'm going to move all of you up there. We're going to move up with the ACU because it is a force to be reckoned with after all. I'm going to grab this stuff and also increase their movement speed by 15%. That might be useful to a certain degree. Okay. Take radar. Let's go ahead and start pumping out some megaliths in the back end here. I might finally start running low on mass. I know, I know, it's taken a lot. Oh crap, I lost a megalith. That means, wait for it, reclaim. Get up here, engineers. I am so very, very glad that I built so many adapters because that is a lot of weedoo boats. It, it pains me. It physically pains me every time I say that name. All right, so Megalith being destroyed, but it's only gonna go down to about half health, and all of the we do boats are going to fall because our adapters are superior technology. 
All right, we got six megaliths. Let's go ahead and move up again, because I think we've got plenty of space. Um, where are my loyalists? There you are. Not many of you left, but still useful. Still useful. Let's get up on the front as well and just kind of overcharge all of this crap to death. That fistouche is on the map. Again, painfully bad. Look at all of the TML, TMD fire. It's actually kind of cool. Reminiscent of the buzzkill. Not buzzkill. Is it buzzkill? What is the cyber in TMD called? I cannot recall. All right, we're gonna move all of you up once again, all of our factory queues, all of everything, and get this in the mix. You guys need to focus fire the assault blocks because this is not looking good. Mobile shields to the front. Block this damage for me, sonnies. Not enough damage to be blocked. That is a horrifying amount of damage coming off of those assault blocks. Come on, you can do it, you can do it. Take them down, I've only lost two megaliths so far. There goes number three, spoke too soon. We gotta move up a little here. Still got quite a few adapters, although not as many as we once did. And we are fully feeding all of our factories with all of this lovely reclaim. We're gonna go ahead and move up here because I'm gonna get in range to stab these sons of guns in the back. Okay, so point defense is not my favorite thing in the world. I'm gonna go ahead and eliminate all that. Thank you very much. Ooh, lost another megalith. It's all good. It's all good. We're going to fly in here. I, I may not want to fly. Let's uh, let's go over here, away from the anti-air. Is the anti-air going to target me? Feels like the anti-air is going to target me. No, it's not. I'm safe. All right. So point defense is though. Overcharge to the rescue. Many, many tanks were killed that day. I'm not sure what you're even doing. Just, like, kill all of these things. Commander under attack. That is what I need from you. Alright, finally making a dent. Just carry on. Move forward. Get in range. And there's another assault block. You are building a lot of assault blocks, bro. Why are you, why do you have nuke defense when you, I can't even build nukes? That does not make much sense. All right, we're gonna mow on up in here with our ACU. Feels like he needs to pay personally for the damage that he has caused me. Overcharge him to death, come on, you can do it. Oh, I might better back up. These nukes are rather large. No, nope, don't follow me. There you go. Run away from me. And he's toast. Maybe now. There it is. <laughs> yes, the Illumina Commander is down. I, you have become quite skilled in battle. Thank you, Father. I told you I was ready. I don't mean to interrupt this touching family moment, but there's a good chance they were able to successfully transmit the report on Shiva. I agree with Dr. Snyder. We must take action. Yeah. Yes. We should immediately travel to the Coalition Command Center on Altair 2. All right. An unknown creature is loose in the Illuminant base. It appears Dr. Snyder was housed Oh, no. It just destroyed a building. I would like a sample of its DNA for the purposes of study. Okay, I am flying away right now. You may need to subdue the creature before acquiring the sample. No, really? Please just die. That's all I want from you. Just die. I am going to have to actually run away from the freaking Cybranosaurus. Oh, it's a dinosaur. It is not yet a Cybranosaurus. Okay. I'm going to have to run away from him and regroup all of my units because the stupid assault block is going to assist him and make it impossible for me to win this. 
All right, we also need to get some of this stuff online. Back up, back up. Don't get in range of the dinosaur. We got to clear out all the planes. Clear out all the planes. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. All right, attack. I think I've got enough. I think I've got enough. Maybe, just maybe. 300,000 health. There is also an assault block in the back. Should I go for the assault block? Kind of feel like I should go for the assault block first. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Probably going to be that the dinosaur blocks all the damage, but uh, whatever. That's okay. I didn't need to win this. I'm tempted to jump in there and just overcharge the whole situation, but that doesn't seem entirely wise. I'm just going to keep plowing ahead with my six megaliths and hope that it's enough. This son of a gun is tough. Good lord. How many health does he have? 342,000 HP. And he's just calmly breathing fire and mowing down my superior technology. I guess it's not superior technology anymore. Why is your foot hinged like that? That just looks unnatural. Okay, come on. Fall down. Fall flat on your face. I need you dead. He's down below 100,000. He's at 40,000. Please tell me that when I build these units, they'll actually be this tough. Please. Please. Probably not. Thank you, my child. Oh, look, it's a laser light show. Can we get to the tier two now? Yes. We can use its gate to return to Seraphim 7 at the Eco Synthesizer. I, I'm aware, Elite Master. I've played through this campaign before. It's been years, but I do uh, I do remember what the Cybranosaurus Rex is. Disco, disco. Okay, that is going to wrap up the stream, guys. That is three missions. If next week we can get through three more missions, we'll be finished with the Supreme Commander 2 campaign. I'm going to stick around for a couple more minutes. Let me reset the recording. I'll be right back with you.